During the proceedings on Monday, Justice Darshan Ramdani described the 1994 killings perpetrated by Millicent Harris and Marvin Joseph as among the worst ever committed in Antigua and Barbuda. William and Kathleen Cleaver, Ian Quidlin and Thomas Williams, who were bound on a yacht, were shot at point-blank range right after the killers discussed their brutal intentions in the presence of the victims. The men were convicted and sentenced to death for the killings in January 1996. However, since then, mandatory death sentences for murder have been declared unconstitutional and the two men, alongside five other murder convicts, are having their sentences reviewed. J Justice Ramdani says he couldn't find any mitigating factors in relation to the way the men committed the crime and therefore ordered a sentence of life imprisonment. On the other hand, the judge gave consideration to what he says are inexcusable constitutional breaches that occurred while the men were incarcerated at Her Majesty's prison. These included the length of time they were kept on death row even after the sentence was declared unconstitutional in 1994. In this regard, the convicted men will get a chance for early release after they have spent 45 years in prison, including time already served on remand and detention. Pastor Bonnie Floyd is the daughter of victims William and Kathleen Cleaver. She believes justice has been properly served, but says there is little to rejoice about. I am most grateful that justice was served again, just as it was 20 years ago. The Antiguan government, the justice system has always served me and my family well. But I do realize that two lives are now in prison for many, many more years. Floyd says she wants the men to benefit from rehabilitation in prison and for the conditions there to improve. Resentencing for the other inmates will continue this week. I am Jamie Jeroche reporting for ABS News.